Hi there, this video uh, comes straight on from video 48, the previous one, which showed you a bit, of, a bit about the query filter for a layer and a spatial query. So this leads very much uh, straight straight from that. Uh, and what, what I wanted to show you was, was just a different way of filtering your data and, and indeed selecting it and just clarifying the difference between filter and select. So when I filtered previously in my grid using in source and query builder and setting a feature filter here um, that obviously removed the records so um, and please see the previous video uh, for more information see how that works but what I'd like to do is really select records pick them out and just highlight them the, w the way you do that is if you go uh, right hand click on a layer and open attribute table so in the attribute table, this is where you can do or your select and um, and indeed filtering if you want to. So previously, I just did a filter on IDs greater than 50, which which affected the whole layer and, and only drew those objects. This time, I want to actually uh, just select them. So there's an expression builder here in the toolbar. I just click that. And you'll see fields and values in this list here. So that's where you get your fields from. So I can click on um, ID. It, it gives me um, samples of the, of the data, etc. Double click on ID. I can type greater than and just type in 50. In the bottom of this window, you can see it says just select those features or add them to whatever is currently selected or indeed remove them from the current selection um, or indeed actually filter them out so I'm just going to select them so I hit select features that's a button and let's just close that for a moment so you can see how it's highlighted those records so these records from my grid are all where the ID is greater than 50 so I can right hand mouse, mouse click on where it has my grid and I could export and I could save selected features as and actually put it into a whole new shape file or, or whatever um, I like or even just save it as some kind of definition file but the point is I can then do something with that selection but just have them highlighted on the map for the time being if I just go back to this uh, there's a few other buttons up here that you'll find useful one of those is this one here which is move selection to top if I do that it just puts at the top all those IDs that are greater than the 50 so you can see 51 there if I scroll down you'll still see the record so it hasn't removed any records it's just selected them it's just highlighted them so an option uh, further options that are available on this attribute window which is really what this video is about it's about this attribute window note down here as well you could um, uh, go to the field field f filter and select ID and it comes up with uh, an input text box so I could type in 50 and press return and it comes up solely with that single record I could click that record and it's highlighted there and indeed if, if I move the map off I can do a pan to feature and there it is I can do a zoom obviously it zoom right in there because it's um, uh, only that single record and um, and of course it's still a selection so I can Right, right hand mouse click on my grid even though it's just that one record and export selection and save the features etc so that is selection that's how you select records um, and simple way to select records in QGIS I'll just hit deselect and it uh, gets rid of all the highlights but of course I've still got this ID selection going so I can click on that and say show all features and back they all come a different sort of interface to it is if you press this one here you can switch to a form view so you can see the form 
So it's just a different way of seeing the data really. So I click on 15 and that's 15. I could do um, ID again and just do exactly what I did before, 50. And it just shows it. So really it's just a, a way to sh show things slightly differently. If I go back to the attribute list, as you can see, it still has the ID 50, which is down here. Anyway, so um, I hope you find that useful. It's just a quick, quick video there, but there's a lot of power in the attribute table. And um, uh, yeah, I, uh, please continue watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Thank you very much.